What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Uh, just before we get into talking about this video today, uh, I, I know a lot of people have been asking about the tier list. Uh, that will be coming in the next couple of days. Uh, I am a little bit sick still right now, so I want to make sure that I'm over this cold before I make like a 20 to 30 minute video on a tier list. You know, it's it's going to be tough to do, but hopefully I'm, uh, you know, I, I get over this cold over the next couple of days and then I'll provide you guys with the tier list update. But anyway, Anyways, we had a data download right now on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global, introducing a brand new Sugo Fest. So, continuing on the trend, we have not had no, no Sugo Fest like for a while now. Pretty much, we've had consistent Sugo Fests for like over a month, it seems. Uh, and this is no different. So, the current Sugo Fest that's on right now, which is the Black Blade uh, Sugo Fest, where you can summon for the Lin Lin and the Pudding. Um, I actually did summon for the Pudding as well when I was at uh, university earlier today. So, if you, wanted, if you wanted to see the multi that I did, or the two multis that I did, uh, I'll leave a link to the tweet down below, so you can go ahead and check it out. Nothing really too crazy, but um, this is a Sugo Fest that is happening straight after it. On the 10th of October, 1900 PST, support Sugo Fest. I never thought I'd actually see the day where they would introduce support characters into a Sugo Fest. So yeah, obviously like the title is what it is. It's support characters in a Sugo Fest. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a joke, honestly. Uh, you shouldn't really summon for these support characters. Like the fact that the support characters are not free to play and you have to spend gems to get them. They're just kind of a joke. I mean, in this video, we'll talk about the two new ones that they're going to be introducing, which you can see on the banner here is going to be Koshiro and also Strusen. So we will go through those guys. Um, but before that, let's actually get into the Sugo information. So support Sugo Fest. New Koshiro and Strusen are here with strong support effects. Well, <laughs> I mean, strong support effects is subjective because Koshiro, I mean, Koshiro is kind of good. Um, but Strusen... Struzan, on the other hand, is pretty disappointing in my personal opinion. Um, but on, on top of this, the Sabo, Konus, Iceberg, Suru, Makino, Orlumbus, Dagama, Mistems, and Oven are all going to be here as well. So all of the previous support units are on this banner. Doesn't mean anything. You really still shouldn't be pulling on this banner. This is a, It's terrible, man. It's terrible. These characters are only available from the support rare recruit and support Sugo Fest. Plus, they are all rate boosted. Rate boosted. Um, for details about the new characters, check out the tavern, of course. What's more, all wanted posters are guaranteed to be four star or better. Characters with support effects will be recruited with their support effects at level one. So, you are guaranteed to get their support abilities active when you pull characters. Honestly, if it's a support Sugo Fest, they should come at level 5, to be quite honest. If you're spending the gems to pull these characters, they literally should come at max support level. It is it is stupid. Anyways, all rate boosted characters other than the Sugo Fest exclusives will be recruited in their 5 star form with support effects available. So, it did, it did say that all the previous support characters are going to be on the banner and they're going to be rate boosted. But does that also mean that other characters like regular rare recruits are going to be on this Sugo as well and they're going to be rate boosted and you can only pull their five star forms? That's potentially what they're going for here. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Sugo Fest exclusive characters will be recruited in their pre-evolution form without the support effect, but all limited pull Sugo Fest exclusive characters will have support effects to be unlocked after you evolve them. So um, they're just talking about the legends there. The legends on this banner that are rate boosted, all of them have support effects. So anyways, uh, support rare recruit exclusive characters will no longer be in the rare recruit after the 24th of October. So 24th of October is when this banner will conclude. Um, so I would think honestly that October October 24th, moving on to, you know, 1900 PST time, that could be potentially when we're getting, like, the next big Sugo Fest. You know, we know the, uh, the 55 million download celebration is on the horizon, and they did say that that update was coming before the end of October. So, it's a pretty good shot that, you know, we're going to be getting the big celebration Sugo Fest before the end of October as well. There's no confirmation on that. We will have to wait and see. Um, we do know that the treasure map is coming up as well. I believe the treasure map Sugo Fest should be starting on the 14th of October, uh, meaning that the treasure map starts on the 16th of October, which would last about four days. So around the 20th of October, I believe, 
will be the, co the the conclusion of the treasure map, and then we'll have a couple of days where they, that, that they might introduce the update. As I said, we don't know the full confirmation of dates yet. But getting into this Sugo Fest, the support Sugo Fest, the first and fourth multis are discounted at 30 rainbow gems, so that's fine, I guess. Um, well, I mean, it's good. You know, discounts are always good. Um, but as for just the Sugo Fest itself, it's just disappointing in my opinion. The second, the fifth, the seventh, and the ninth multi, the last poster is guaranteed to be a rate boosted character uh this could mean a lot of different things because we did see that these support characters are rate boosted but as i said are the other regular rare recruits rate boosted as well because that would also mean that the second fifth seventh and ninth multi could be a regular rare recruit as well i hope that the rate boosted rare recruits are only support units um so that you know the second fifth seventh and ninth are just guaranteed to be a support character that's what i would hope to be the case and it probably is the case but we don't have uh Full confirmation on that the third sixth and eighth multi guaranteed to be a sugo fest exclusive character and the tenth multi last wanted poster is guaranteed to be a limited pool sugo fest exclusive with max level and max special level and then after the tenth multi the counter will reset so you can do these steps once again if you're doing 10 multis on this banner like that's just ridiculous um like if you have the gems to pull on a banner like this, I would just say, I would suggest to just pull on the treasure map Sugo Fest, to be quite honest. It just doesn't make any sense. But in terms of the limited pool legends on this banner, you've got Carrot, who's fantastic. Zoro. I'll leave my opinions for Zoro for the tier list video because there are both good thing and bad things about V2 Zoro. I have been using him a decent amount since I pulled him, and I have a little bit to say about him. So I'll wait for the tier list uh, for that one. Charlotte Cracker, who is awesome. Been using him a lot since I pulled him. Sabo, oh, that's Dex Sabo. He's great. Jack, of course, is amazing as well. So the boosted list is really good. It's just the fact that it's on this specific banner, which is not good. The limited pool Sugo Fest exclusives are also rate boosted. Obviously, makes sense. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, there's some uh, some other information here, but it's not really too important. But uh, let's get into talking about the new support characters. So the new support characters are Strusen and Koshiro. We'll go through Strusen first because he's the least important of the two. Um, Strusen, who is a Psy slasher driven, his stats at level 99 aren't really too important. Um, captain ability, again, not really too important. Two times attack to slasher and driven and 1.2 times health. And his special ability, if you do opt to use this character as a sub on your team, he'll change your slots randomly unless they're matching. And also will heal 20% of your crew's max HP. Uh, number one, he doesn't get rid of block orbs, so it's not really that good. And 20% HP recovery is whatever but it really he just doesn't he just doesn't do much i mean obviously the the main reason you would have this character is for his support ability now again this is another big reason why i don't like him is his support ability really isn't that good supports big mom once per quest when the support character meaning when big mom uses her special changes the support character slot to recovery which for version one big mom is pretty interesting because she'll make the recovery orb count as a similar orb so that's not too bad and then reduces your crew's increased damage taken by five turns and for the next three turns recover 4500 health the hp recovery is decent the increased damage reduction or increased damage taken removal is very very mundane like i don't know why they decided to select that as the utility for the character it would have made so much more sense if they reduced like despair or something like that um to make sure the big mom is active all the time but increased damage taken really doesn't make a lot of sense in my personal opinion i really feel like they missed the mark massively with this character he's just really not that exciting uh he doesn't even have a crewmate ability either like Nah, this character is not good. Uh, but talking about Koshiro, Koshiro is pretty good. And it, this, I think this is the first Koshiro character in Treasure Cruise, uh, well, on Global anyway. Um, really, really cool unit. So he is an Int Slasher Cerebral. Captain ability is 1.75 times attack and recovery to slashes, so not good. His special ability, 11 turns, will reduce the top row character's special charge time by one turn and three turn reduction of Bind and Despair. So. He has a little bit better, a little bit of a better special, in my opinion, compared to Strusen. But again, this isn't a character that you're really going to be using on your team, unless if you're using for him for his support ability, which is the main reason why this character is so goddamn good. So his support ability only attaches to Zoro. So once per quest, when the supported character uses a damage dealing or health cutting special, you're going to reduce defense up and resilience by four turns and give you a 0.7 chain boost for one turn. 
bruh, this character is insane, yo. Because you can go ahead and attach this character to a character like, I don't know, Raid Zora. And then Raid Zora at that point with his special ability does 55 times his attack, I think, to the enemy. Gives you a 1.75 or a 2 times color affinity to Driven and Slasher. Reduces 5 turns of threshold, reduces 5 turns of uh, percent damage reduction, and then with the support unit, reduces 4 turns of blue shield, and then uh, 4 turns of resilience. So you get all of those effects with Raid Zora with this character attached to it. Yo, <laughs> that is bizarre. That is wild. I mean, you can attach him to a lot of other Zoras. I mean, Legend Zora, you can attach this guy to because he does damage. You can attach him to uh, V2 Zora because he does damage as well. I think even 5 plus Zora is a health cutter, so you can attach him to, to that Zora as well. This character is really, really good. Uh, I would love to own this guy uh, just for that amazing utility, but of course, he's on a really terrible banner, so I am completely skipping this banner, and I would suggest to you guys out there to skip this banner as well. Honestly, I was kind of expecting us to get the data download for the Treasure Map Sugo Fest, but not the case. Uh, the, the, the Treasure Map Sugo Fest, as I said, should be starting around about the 14th, so maybe over the next couple of days, we might get a data download about that, and when we do, uh, I'll be making sure to update you guys with a video but we're going to end this video here hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i will see you guys within the next video